Hi everyone and welcome to episode 3 in our item inspection series. In the previous episodes we got it so the player can look at an item and pick it up. In this episode we're going to go through the process of dropping that item. So to drop an item we have to go into our player character first of all. And we have to call the cancel event which we set up in the previous episode. And in there we're going to tell it to check if we currently held an item. So get and then right click convert to validate get. And I'll check whether or not we actually have one selected. Um, so the first thing we need to do actually is change that item, uh, that currently held item variable, change its type to item parent. Because after all, you're only ever holding an item in your hand. Change variable type. That's it. Okay, and it should compile just fine still. That's okay. Um, the reason why we're going to do that is because we're going to call a drop item function on our currently held item. And we need it to be of the same type for it to work. So let's go into our items. And we're going to add a new function on here called drop item. And the drop item function is going to basically do the opposite of the pickup item. So rather than, do a, rather than attach the uh, component, we're going to detach it. Detach from actor, and we're going to change it to keep world position, so it stays where it is. So wherever you drag it to, it'll st stay where you dropped it. Um, but the location of where you drop it, rather than just drop it exactly where it is, we're going to drop it at slightly ahead of the player. So what we do is do a line trace, similar to what we've done with the inspection stuff, uh, the um, the look at stuff. Sorry. Do another line trace by channel. And we're going to get the camera manager. And from there, we can get camera location. That'd be its start point. The end point is going to be get a rotation, get camera rotation get forward vector, multiply that by, let's say 200, and then add that to our starting point here. I'm going to change that to camera trace channel. And let's give us a location so we can out hit that and split that and get the out hit location and we're going to set the actor's location here so we're going to do set actor location to be the out hit location returned from our trace channel so you can only drop stuff on the floor okay that would be the whole point of this so to do that, we need to make sure we've got that hooked up like so, and that'll drop it onto the floor wherever you're looking at. After that, we're doing basically the opposite of our pickup item, so we're going to change. Oh, sorry, let me just turn that off and plug that into there. There you go. Uh, we're going to do the opposite of this, so we're going to change it to simulate and change its collision. So we're going to drag static mesh out, simulate physics. Turn out to be true. And we're going to set collision enabled and change its collision to collision enabled. And click compile. So that's its drop function. So back on our player character, we can when we cancel and check we've got the current player uh, currently held item, so if it is valid. We're going to drag from current held item and call the drop item function. And I'll go to the is valid. Okay. After we do that, we're going to tell the currently held item and set it to nothing. Basically, make it not valid anymore. Compile. Let's see how that looks in game. Whoops, sorry, made a mistake. 
we don't need to do the line trace we can get rid of that and we just plug it directly into the set location my bad I misread my notes like that so now drop it it drops just ahead of the player like so okay so that'll do for that in the next episode we're going to go through the actual inspection element so getting it so we're going to inspect mode and make it so we can zoom it in and out and rotate it with the left mouse button so thanks very much for joining us join us in the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash rhinoly just one dollar a month will get you access to netlex part plus all future episodes as well as many other exclusive episodes for patrons so thanks again for all my supporters for this uh, for that well for the support and i'll see you all next time Bye-bye.